is my favorite subject to teach and learn. And what I love about teaching mathematics and learning about mathematics is finding patterns. How many of you remember the order of operations or bed maths? <laughs> what I like about this question is that you have to work from the inside out to get the answer. Whereas in this question from calculus, to find the derivative or slope of the tangent line, you have to work from the outside in using the chain rule. These two examples remind me of the Russian nesting doll, where one doll is nested inside another. It's a metaphor for order in place. Order in place is important in mathematics, but there's also opportunities to play. So, for example, to solve this linear equation, you could subtract five from both sides, as seen on the left, and work from the outside in. Or you could divide both sides by two first and work from the inside out. Both solutions are mathematically correct. This, on the other hand, is not. This is what I call making math happen. Yes, there was multiplying, dividing, and subtracting, and adding, but the rules weren't followed and concepts were misunderstood, hence the wrong answer or conceptual error. Seven years ago, I too experienced a conceptual error. I wasn't following the rules, concepts were misunderstood, and I left teaching. Uh, what I wanted to do was to play, create, try something new, so I just assumed all of these other roles in education. I teach at the university, I'm uh, elected to be a school trustee, and I'm a bit of a Twitter junkie. <laughs> From these edu experiences, though, I was able to look at the school system through different lenses. And what I realized is that the school system is structured much like the Russian nesting dolls, where there's order in place. For example, the large doll may represent the Board of Education, followed by senior management, school principals, teachers and support staff, and the students in the middle, at the heart of what we do. In this conceptualization, the size of the doll does not represent power or importance, but relative distance from the student. As a teacher, I was the closest to students in student learning, and I looked at the system from the inside out. As a school trustee, I, look, I don't have direct access to students that be playing with the trains, but I do have influence on student learning, but in a different way, and I look at the system from the outside in. And each role has responsibilities, but each role has limitations, like math. Multiplication can't do what subtraction does. Reciprocating is not the same as square rooting. So it's going to take all of us in the system, like all of the operations in math, to get the right answer so we can thrive. Together, we create a ripple effect for our students. We create a difference in their lives and in their learning, regardless of what role we play. So imagine, what would it look for our students and look for ourselves if we were all uh, cooperative learners, critical thinkers, good communicators, and dare I say, math gurus? Because whatever we want for students is what we want for ourselves. So if you feel that you're left out or you're at odds with the system, what are you going to do about it? Your alignment matters. What is your role in education? What kind of impact do you have on student learning? What impact would you like to have? My challenge to you is to find your place. For me, it used to be math, teaching mathematics, now I'm a school trustee, and maybe I'm going to write books. But what I do know for sure is, is when we are aligned, we don't just make ripples in the system. Together, we make waves. Thank you.